Dead Alliance is a team-based tactical shooter with the unique hook of there being a huge amount of zombies in the middle messing everything up. Uh, unlike many other uh, first-person shooters that have zombies in them, the, the, the aim of the game is not to mow down as many zombies as you can. The whole point is to use the zombies um, as a tactical weapon against your enemy. You can use special weapons that we've developed in the game that you can either turn them into attack dogs uh, for your team, for example, or you can use them as defensive shields. Um, it adds a, a very, very unique tactical hook to the, to the game, making it pretty different from most first-person shooters you're ever going to play. So the story in Dead Alliance takes place in the future after the zombie apocalypse has already happened. What we have left now is some of these warring military, paramilitary factions um, who are fighting over the resources that are left. But in that, they have also found out how to control these zombies using various pheromones and noises. There are more in quantity of the zombies. They're an easier thing to use than, you know, using things like bullets or ammo or grenades. You don't want to waste that stuff. That stuff's extremely valuable. But what do you have lying around? You have a bunch of zombies there. Let's take that. Let's use that. This whole concept creates a strategic challenge that will pull you in and keep you on your toes. It's always fun to actually get a kill on somebody else with your weapon, but it's extremely satisfying when you are able to weaponize a zombie and it ends up taking down three people. Really, it kind of makes you rethink the way you play a first-person shooter. I mean, there's guys we play against in the office that are great at shooting, but I have an advantage over them because I know how to weaponize the zombies. The most direct way is to just weaponize a group of zombies when they're near an enemy and they will help take down that enemy while you're also attacking them yourself. Or even block uh, an enemy's egress into or out of a building. So for example, if you know that there's uh, an enemy or a team of enemies inside a building, you can, you can send a group of zombies into that building to either flush out your enemy or to kill them outright. So it's really finding what combinations of items work well together. There's a Pam grenade that you can throw at the zombies and it gets them super mad and they will be hyper aggressive. I've seen people use zombies as kind of a wall, so they'll use the LRAD, which basically attracts zombies into an area so that the snipers and the enemies at a distance couldn't really attack them, so they had to pick off a wall of zombies at first. And so it really just creates a more dynamic battlefield for players to experience. In any first person shooter, uh, teamwork is a cornerstone of the experience. But with Dead Alliance, they get to push even further. Having uh, three other team members on your team makes it far easier to send cohesive instructions to them and coordinate your attack patterns as well as your defensive perimeters. So keeping it to a 4v4 experience, you have a tighter knit team. And also thematically, there's not many humans left because everybody's a zombie. There are modes that many players will recognize, such as Capture the Flag, Team Deathmatch, there's, there's a free-for-all mode. Um, so in the example of Capture the Flag, um, you're not actually just moving a, a capture flag from point A to point B. You're actually picking up this canister of zombie pheromones, and as soon as you pick it up, interesting things happen with the zombies, like now they react differently to you. And we wanted to add a, a unique mode that's never been seen before. And we hit upon the idea of maybe borrowing from a MOBA game creating a, a special map just for this mode. So attrition mode is each team has a base that they spawn at and there's two different lanes on the map and sort of a jungle area in the middle. Players need to work down those lanes and capture tower points and back at their base they have a constant stream of friendly zombies spawning out and attacking those lanes with them. There are still a bunch of neutral zombies throughout the map that they can then influence and work to their advantage. And in the middle jungle area, we have some high-level special zombies that will give your team boosts if you kill them, a health boost or defense boost. The goal is to push the enemy's lane all the way back, at least one of them, and then attack their final base. And once you destroy that base, you've won the match. Single player in Dead Alliance has two different versions. You can play completely offline, but instead of playing against human players, you have bots. We also have a dedicated single player mode called Solo Survival that plays like a horde mode. It's a series of levels that you go through. Zombie waves will just continuously attack and continuously attack. And there's other environmental hazards like gas that have been dropped that are forcing you to certain locations. And each map tells the next chapter of the story, essentially. I won't give anything away, but you basically have to fight your way through the levels and find out what happens. We'll see you on the battlefield.